What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and today we're gonna talk Kwame Brown, man. Um, now Gilbert Arenas, he's had a series of posts on IG, and he's been talking about Kwame Brown, comparing him to the movie um, Cocaine Bear that just came out. And I'm not about to get into their riff back and forth, but rather some people that have nothing at all to do with the situation um, coming under Gill's post and siding with him. First, man, we got Nate Robinson. Bro, you got to chill, LOL, with a laughing emoji. Now, you have some people that pretend like they're trying to de-escalate a situation, but to put LOL and laughing, that makes you complicit. Like, he's he's getting enjoyment out of it. And if you look under those comments, people like, look, Nate, we ain't forgot about you. Now, you remember Nate Robinson whenever he got knocked out by Jake Paul he was talking about how hurt he was that Steph and LeBron and all those guys were laughing on social media and said it sent him to a dark place and he was depressed. So for him to get online after he feels like it's blown over, um, I think that's a weak move, especially when you got knocked out on TV and admittedly said that, I mean, the way he got slept is top three sleeps of all time that we've seen online, <laughs> you know, so I wouldn't come on picking at nobody. And also you have JaVale McGee, man. He went on there. He said, bro, relax. And Gilbert said something to the effect that um, Kwame keeps making videos about him. So he's going to do it until he stops. And then JaVale said something like, well, you know, if you poke the bear or, or he, you know, implying that Kwame poked the bear, he said, if, if you poke the bear, then, hey, like it is what it is. And I remember JaVale McGee being very upset about Shaq putting him on Shaq and the Fool even got his mom involved to go at Shaq and talk about you know coming at my son and all this and that and Shaq agreed to not put him on there because McGee was saying that it was affecting his bottom line and like people didn't want to give him jobs based off him being looked at as a non-serious player and so Shaq honored that and I just found this interesting that those two individuals had something to say in regards to this, you know, especially with how they reacted to those two incidents I just described. So, Nate, you have no room to ever pick at nobody on the Internet again uh, after what happened with you and Jake Paul. And, JaVel, you cried about, you know, your bottom dollar being affected, and that's cool, you know, that I could see Shaq painting a narrative that could affect your money. But in turn, you know, to get on something like this and, you know, take a stab at, at Kwame and it doesn't involve you, why would you do that, you know? And you got Gilly the Kid laughing under there. Um, I don't know what this has to do with him or anything, but I, I find it because Kwame is somebody, you know, maybe you could have potentially interviewed one day, but now when, when he sees that, you know, he's going to know, like, you would what he calls the go along get along game man so um yeah I, I thought that was crazy and it's more of those you know uh those blue checks i noticed they all flock to certain comment sections and it's just a part of the in crowd it's the same thing we've seen in uh, elementary school middle school high school we've seen this type of behavior um and you, but to see it from some people that were complaining, you know, not long ago that they were pretty much being cyber bullied, I think it's crazy. Um, Kwame's probably, I don't know if he re, he's responded to this. I'll probably check it out on his channel later. Um, but I did find this interesting. Now, Gil, um, I haven't seen the latest startup, but one thing I can say, Kwame and Gil at least have. A personal relationship where they've known each other so what they got going on i just find it interesting that some of these blue check guys are trying to latch on to it and make fun of it on one side just because gilbert might be seen as more mainstream but kwame has admitted that um he's not going for that quote-unquote celebrity status where you see him and think he's above the average man um so you can kind of, you mean, you can respect that. You know, I, I respect that. Uh, last person I seen 
that I felt like in awe of. I was a little kid. I saw Dominique Wilkins in the mall. I was probably like four or five, you know what I'm saying? And Dominique was at the top of his game back then. So um, now that, I remember that, and I was like, whoa, you know, but looking at somebody now, no celebrity would get me like overly excited to see him. You know, just from the standpoint, you know, we we both grown. I mean, you can admire someone's success without trying to latch on and be a a groupie for somebody. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I want to know what you guys think about this whole thing in the comments. Um, get like bring me up to date on what's going on. Um, if if you if you in the know, I mean, Gilbert is claiming that Kwame's making videos about him. I see some of Gil, uh, Gilbert's antics on a regular basis. You know, um, like I enjoy Kwame vi uh, interviews and stuff when he's on the pivot and he's talking some sensible stuff. Like people was, people was looking at him crazy when he said, you know, he likes being a bus over being LeBron. And then LeBron came out and said the same thing. Like people was looking at it like it was crazy. And LeBron was like, you know, he can't go into Target in these places and he wishes to have, you know, that normalcy in his life. And they was like, oh, Kwame won't line. But real ones know he won't line right away. Like people just being able to do the things you've always been able to do, that's priceless. So you can put a billion, you know, two billion, eight billion on it. At the end of the day, they all people, man. So when you get used to it, you'll get used to being able to buy everything, buy every car, buy every house, and then what? You know? So if, if that, I'm, what I'm saying is if that is what makes you happy, then you'll always be looking for that next thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to find that. That's just something you got to work out inside yourself. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy to see these guys um, in groups like this, though, and to come at Kwame Brown in this way and they have nothing to do with it. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe until next time. Peace.